Hey Cinephiles, welcome back to another Politically Charged Documentary Review with Sam and JS. I'm Sam. And I'm JS. So this week we reviewed The Square, uh, which is a uh, Oscar-nominated documentary this yep. year. It's available on Netflix streaming. Uh, if you haven't watched it, go do it right now. I mean, we could end the review there. Yeah. The movie just has to be watched. It's so good. What an amazing movie. I yeah. loved it. It's it, it's so shocking and incredible and moving and really horrifying and upsetting, yeah. too. If you, like me, weren't entirely paying attention when Egypt was in the headlines of CNN yeah. every single day, you know, going back to 2011. For um, three weeks until yeah. Demi Lovato became important <laughs> and we forgot about the Arab Spring. Sure. Yeah. Um, then this is the documentary for you. I mean, this yeah. really breaks down the Egyptian revolution into some very digestible chunks. And it, it covers those key moments. Mm -hmm. And in fact, this movie premiered at Sundance earlier last year, uh, which takes place in January, of course. Yeah. And then they actually went back and added a whole third part to this film that took place in June of 2013. Yeah. So, I mean, are they going to keep adding to the square? Well, uh, with the current state of Egyptian politics, yes, they yeah, probably will. A They'll director's keep going cut back. in a few It'll years. It'll never be finished. But it, okay. it, again, it feels like that. It feels like this is like the the template for what revolutions are. Yeah. You know, or or what it what happens when a, a repressive regime is overthrown. You know, you're faced with choices. Do you do you accept? the same people who, who ran the last government, yeah. you know, under a slightly new guise to, to still be in charge? Or do you try to rebuild the structures of, of a country, yeah. you know? Our lead revolutionary, his name is Ahmed, I mean, mm -hmm. he's, he's pretty much the protagonist of this yeah. film. And he's there in front of the camera, I'd say, you know, a good 75% of this film. Oh, yeah, definitely. And he's, his nine to five is the revolution. Mm -hmm. He's out there on the streets, he's protesting, he's riling people up, and he's our age. Yeah. Which is probably the most astounding thing about it. For me, though, the, the real hero of the documentary, uh, it's a strange word to use, mm -hmm. but uh, is Magdi. A lot of the, the, the people in the movie are young people. They're yeah. in their mid-twenties. They're very like socially engaged. This guy's in his mid-thirties, maybe late-thirties. He's got a wife. He's got a couple of kids at home. He's a member of the Muslim Brotherhood. Yeah. And uh, he, you get the sense, especially later in the documentary, especially in the little coda piece that was filmed last year, mm -hmm. that he's really torn between you know, what he maybe thinks is right morally yeah. and following the, the instructions of the Muslim Brotherhood. Yeah. And I, it was just so heartbreaking. It was like the, a microcosm of the whole film is this yeah. guy and his decision-making process. Yeah, the relationship between Ahmed and Mahdi is, I think, really the crux of this film. And a phone call that they have towards the end really yeah. you know, lays it out plain and simple. It's a fantastic piece of filmmaking. Mm -hmm. And it really is filmmaking. There's no sort of, there's very little like camera footage or yeah, you know, crowdsourced like material. almost zero archival it is stuff. All stuff that these guys filmed at great personal risk mm -hmm. down there on the ground. The camera people get shot at all the yeah, time. It's, it's an incredible dangerous. piece of filmmaking. But more than that, it really is a great conversation starter. Yeah. Um, and we'd love to hear your thoughts on the movie. You know, comment in the section below. Let us know what you thought of it. Um, you know, I think any other year we were saying this, you were telling me any other year probably this would have, this would win best documentary. It's probably true, yeah. But it's competing against uh, active killing. Yeah. Uh, so maybe not this year, but who knows? You know. Yeah. But it's a it's a miracle that this thing got made. This is actually the first Netflix documentary and the first Kickstarter documentary to be nominated for an Oscar. And so yeah, yeah this thing has a lot of momentum behind it. The director actually previously directed Control Room, which I highly recommend. It's about hmm. the Iraqi war and Al Jazeera's coverage of that. Yeah. So yeah, I mean this this is a very important filmmaker to keep an eye on as well. So for movie this, clips. Yeah, certainly a movie to see. For movie clips, uh, I'm Sam. And I'm JS. Thanks, Thanks for watching.